Hey, good evening, Steve. So throughout the day and evening, travelers on both sides, arrivals and departures, they were just simply paralyzed here in the airport, stuck. And that's because several airlines experienced cancellations and delays of arrivals and departures due to this outage. We met vocalist and saxophonist Keith Nieto, whose flight was delayed from Dallas. He landed in the nick of time to perform a live show at Enigma Nightclub in Raleigh. I thought I was going to make it. We were going to cancel actually uh, um, earlier, but I did ma manage to get on the plane and I'm here now. I'm going to change. Somebody's going to pick me up. I'm going to change in the car yeah. so I can go up on stage. Okay. And this Fayetteville couple stalled trying to get to New Jersey for a civil service exam for the fire department. Their United flight pushed back to midnight. Well, they gave us like $15 each for food, um, so that was nice. And then other than that, they just been sending us updates about when it's going to leave. We spoke with Samuel Carter with North Carolina State University. He is a system architect with the Strategy Institute and tells us CrowdStrike software update impacted anyone using Using Microsoft 365, which included health systems to government agencies. Many organizations have adopted this concept as sort of an N minus one or N minus two type of model, which simply just means, hey, I'm going to wait a little bit before I install that update just in case there was something wrong in it. He says even though an update was shared an hour later, organizations were already locked out of their system, and that was enough time for hackers to pop up. The bad actors starting creating these domains like CrowdStrikeFix.com, CrowdStrikeUpdate.com, and they're trying to send phishing emails out. Carter says IT departments have a solution, but it requires fixing things one by one. Everybody right now is just working as fast as they can to get through and fix these things. Meanwhile, the Bogans hope to land in time for his big exam. Maybe straight to the hotel, sleep probably for like an hour, and then go drive to the test. And so if you are traveling this weekend, again, we suggest be sure to download your airlines app so you know the status of your flight before you get to the airport. And again, many airlines work together to try to rebook passengers. Uh, so again, they're trying to make up for the loss that happened today. Live at RDU, Bianca Holman, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.